fear is is everything in my life. I wake up with it first thing in the morning. I have to work through that fear. If I didn't, I'd stay in bed every day. Eventually, because of my bipolar disorder, it would kill me. That's why art plays such an important role in my life. Art is probably the hardest thing I've ever done. A lot of people think it's, it's really easy to be an artist. Um, my normal state uh, is fear. I have to trick my mind. I have to get up every morning at 5.30. I have to get out of bed. I have to take a shower. I have to get in the car. I have to run down, grab a cup of coffee, put the key in the door. I sit in this rocking chair. I look out the window. I have an hourglass that I turn. It's actually 45 minutes. I flip it around. I grab a journal that I have. In that journal, I actually scribble out my thoughts. And all those thoughts, they're dark, nasty. They're the same thoughts I've had since I was a kid when my dad used to call me a worthless bum. And you know, I'm 69 years old, and you'd think I'd work through all that crap with enough therapy. And you know, I'm not alone. I know everybody has to deal with that kind of stuff. But my mind keeps telling me it's true. So um, I have to get that stuff out on paper. And when I get that stuff out on paper, I can see it for the lie that it is. That still doesn't make it any easier, but I, I get that stuff out, and then I can start moving. And so when that hourglass finishes and that sand sifts through to the bottom, that's it. That's my rule. I get up, and I get to work. It's fun to paint. It's great to paint. It's joyous to paint. I love to paint. And you would think that with that kind of joy and that kind of ease, to be in that zone, I would just pick up a paintbrush. I would just get started painting. I would paint every day. I'd paint every second. Why wouldn't anybody want to paint? Because painting is hard. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. Because in order to paint, you have to walk through the door. You have to beat down every demon on the way through that door. Your mother, your father, your friends. You have to beat up every art critic. And that's just to get through the door. Once you get in the door, you have to, you have to get through yourself. You have to get through a life's history like a deck of cards before you even walk up to the canvas. But once you walk up to the canvas, oh, it's all gone. You step up to the canvas, and your mind is blank. It's pure bliss. And it, it's all movement. It's like a symphony. It's like I'm the director, and I'm in the painting. And then all of a sudden, the painting's done. And if I was to put one more little dot on that painting, I'd ruin the painting. And I may not make another painting for three months. Or I may keep making paintings, because I'm, if I'm in a manic condition, I may make, I may start another painting immediately, or I may not, like I said, make another painting for months. And that's one of the drawbacks of, of being bipolar. I don't, I can't stop sometimes. I learned a valuable lesson while I was walking across America for um, children with AIDS. If I had already spent the first part of my life doing things that, that were all self-centered didn't give me any value, really. I was driving through the desert and had been praying to God that basically either show me some kind of way of making my life make sense or I was going to take my life. And... I didn't hear a voice like a burning bush type thing, but it was louder and clear as day. Take a walk. I had um, I'd already walked 1,800 miles, I'd gone through a number of life-threatening situations, and I'd gone through hell. And so at the time, I was just ready to quit. And I had another one of those moments. You don't have to walk all the way to Seattle. Just take three steps. Wow. 
I can do that. Just take three steps. And uh, that day I took three steps and I managed to do my 15 miles. And no matter what, I take three steps. No matter what, I walk up to my canvas, no matter what, and I try. Even if it takes me three months before I start a canvas, no matter what, because I know eventually I'm going to create a painting. It's like on this painting over here, you see, you see flowers and you see this, this, these stems and so on, but they're not flowers and they're not stems. What this was was a blank white canvas. All of a sudden you see this, this paint explode onto this canvas. This energy explode onto that canvas, and that's what happened. There was, there was movement. And what that movement was is whatever was happening at the moment. There was joy, and there was excitement, and there was exhilaration, and perhaps sadness. But that's what was happening in my life at the time. I was happy, and that was my feeling at the time. And that was me. That was Louis Rochon at that moment. And I exposed myself. Those were my emotions, and I was giving everything I had to the world at that moment. Creating pretty paintings and beautiful paintings makes people feel good. I love that. I love sharing that with the world. That's only part of the story. What I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, the pain, the sorrow, the, the struggles I have to go through to walk in the door, which I share openly, I'm proud of that. I have no problem sharing that with the world. But... Being able to share that story gives inspiration and hope to people that are dealing with that kind of crap. I love to be able to share my story. Painting is only part of what I have to offer. It's being able to share my story. That makes me feel, that, that fills my soul, being able to share my story.